<laughs> You're telling me this guy pulled up to a JRPG with jeans and a button down shirt. <laughs> Team Ninja and Square Enix? Yes, please. If you're like me and you grew up during the 90s and the early 2000s, you played a lot of Ninja Gaiden and you played a lot of Final Fantasy. And to kind of have those two put together, uh, I will admit, didn't see that coming, but I'm really super awesomely interested in this particular game. And that's going to be Team Ninjas and Square Enix, uh, Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origins for the PlayStation 5. All the Xbox consoles, the PlayStation 4 even, and the Xbox One, as well as the PC. Now, we've seen Square Enix kind of change it up a little bit in surprising ways, matter of fact. Now, with the Final Fantasy 16 trailer that they released last year, just the blood splatter of it itself just kind of makes you think that, is this really a Square Enix game? Like, now nah, I know there's blood splatters everywhere in almost um, all the games that are being uh, made right now. A lot of the Final Fantasy titles that we've received, or just Square Enix games in general, they kind of are these rated PG, rated PG-13 games, but with Final Fantasy 16, it kind of leans more on the rated R side of things. And uh, yeah, I think somebody actually said that it looked more very akin to, say, Game of Thrones. And uh, that's the analogy that I used too in my video reaction video that I created last year uh, because I think it was dead on. And so, yeah, I don't know. Team Ninja definitely known for their brutal games and uh, very difficult games too. Let's not lie. Ninja Gaiden. Wow. Very, very, very difficult. But before we get to today's video, if you are here for the first time, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me. My name is Salaman SK for Coffee and RPGs, where we cover the latest news, trends, and updates for the RPG gaming genre, including MMOs, survival, JRPGs, online, and the like. And as always, if you guys got your coffee ready or beverage of choice, I'm drinking coffee. As always, let's go ahead and cover Final Fantasy Origins together. Cheers to you guys. Consider hitting the subscribe button down below as well as the bell notification right next to it. Thank you! Now, this game was brought to my attention thanks to an article here from Gematsu.com. And like I said earlier, Square Enix and Team Ninja announces Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins for the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series consoles, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the PC. Now, this game is scheduled to launch next year in 2022. There is a demo available out right now for the PlayStation 5, but from <laughs> what I could tell, it's just... A huge mess right now. It's not even worth uh, playing right now, unfortunately. But, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I guess you got nothing to lose. But, anyways, this demo will last until June 24th. And uh, that's all the info that I have about it. I'm not exactly sure if they're actually going to release it for the PC or other ports um, and whatnot. But, uh, anyways. Before we get to the reaction video, I kind of want to go over, I guess, uh, the synopsis, if you will, um, of this game. <laughs> It does sound a little cheesy, but then I thought to myself, well, can you write something better? Probably not. So, uh, yeah, can't say much about that, right? Anyways, Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origins, or Origins, rather, uh, singular, is an action RPG that takes the Final Fantasy series in a bold new direction. I think that's true. Again, given the reputation that Team Ninja has. Anyways, it does go on to say that with the memory of their struggle deep, uh, in their hearts, Jack and his allies, Ash and Jed, burn with resolve. Burn! Yeah, they just don't have it. They burn with it. <laughs> to defeat Chaos, and that's what the capital C, so this is the main antagonist that's named Chaos, as they throw open the gates to the Chaos Shrine. Yet doubts remain. Are they truly the warriors of light? The prophecy foretold. Ooh. <laughs> Step into the dark fantasy and reveal in the exhilarating action-packed battles. Although, I think dark fantasy is a pretty accurate description of this game. Again, going back to Team Ninja. I know, sound like a broken record player. But again, they make really pretty brutal games in my opinion. Relatively speaking, of course. And again, going over the characters, you got the main protagonist, Jack, here. Which is kind of your stereotypical uh, hero, if you will. And he also has his... A uh, friend here named Jed, uh, which is like the cheerful, uh, the cheerful soul of the group, as it says here, um, and whatnot. And then you got Ash, which is the uh, cool and collective guy right here, who's also looks like he's built like a tank. <laughs> but anyways, you got your trio of friends here, and uh, yeah, the article kind of goes over 
various aspects of the game and the opinions of the various people who are on the project like developer teams and whatnot and the producer but uh anyways the link to this article will be down in the description below if you want to click uh take a closer look at it for yourself and whatnot and really quick unfortunately one of the things that i just noticed right now uh, is that the uh like to dis dislike ratio uh for this trailer is uh about half and half unfortunately i'm not exactly sure why uh, I didn't read any of the comments. I don't want to spoil anything before I actually watch the trailer, but uh, you know, let's get to it, right? All right, here we go. With a memory, okay, I think we just read that earlier, right? <laughs> Buried deep within their hearts. I'm here to kill chaos. That's my mission. Okay, we got that. <laughs> That is so GRPG. Waiting for us. <laughs> That's the most. Go in there and find you. I guess we'll just show ourselves in. That's the most GRPG thing I've ever seen so far. I want to kill <laughs> chaos. I need to. It's not a hope or a dream. It's like a hunger, a thirst. Move aside. Uh. The narrative's kind of corny, I will admit. You but sure chaos is here? Yeah, we can only squash monsters for so long. I hate doing pest control. But then it, it wouldn't really be a JRPG if it wasn't corny, right? Oh yeah, that's very Square Enix of them to make Dog, those magical so animations. It. This is it. No doubt. Although a lot of it kind of looks very similar to Devil May Cry too. There was a knight who left on the same journey as you, but never returned. His name was Garland. If you could, I would be grateful if you looked for him. Chaos. Chaos. He looks pretty cool, I will admit. I'll crush you. I'll crush you. <laughs> We're here to kill chaos. The prophecy's very own warriors of light. Really? He yes, really. Wore such splendid armor with a helmet that was terrifying to behold. Oh, it's not that terrifying. No, I become chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I think I understand why it has a half and half. Like to dislike ratio. <laughs> oh my goodness. Demo available soon. Well, it's already out, but anyways. So despite the fact the trailer sounded a little corny, sounded, but in terms of the way it looks, it was pretty impressive. Uh, again, with the whole hack and slash combat that Team Ninja is typically known for. I think they've definitely implemented a lot of their strengths in terms of the combat that you see here. And again, the way that he moves, the way he blocks, uh, the hack and slash aspect of the game, very similar to, like I said earlier, Devil May Cry, God of War. But again, Ninja Gaiden, also a very awesome hack and slash game that's very difficult, uh, or could be difficult rather. Um, yeah, I think uh, they know what they were doing with the actual combat of the game, of the actual aesthetic of the game, the way it looks, the way it feels, the graphics, it just felt really nice. But the dialogue. <laughs> the d <laughs> Again, Maybe not such a bad thing if you're kind of used to that cheesiness of JRPGs typically associated um, uh, with that kind of genre, if you will. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to look at the comment section. Let's see what it says. You see a lot of comments about how he wants to defeat chaos. Uh, we're here to kill chaos, sir. This is McDonald's. <laughs> you're telling me this guy pulled up to a JRPG with jeans and a button-down shirt? <laughs> Uh, comedic proficient, uh, perfection achieved unintentionally. <laughs> I'll give him that. That's kind of true. Again, more chaos memes. Um, chaos, you say chaos, more chaos, you know. And so, yeah, I could kind of understand, you know, where 
a lot of us Final Fantasy fans are coming from. Um, but either way, you know, I'm I'm interested in the game. Again, I'm, I'm looking more towards that sort of dark fantasy uh, that they could be potentially going with this game. Now we see a lot. We saw a lot of brutal combos, a lot of smashing in uh, enemies, turning into crystals and whatnot. And um, even though there is some brutal combat that are already associated with the uh, Final Fantasy games. They could still potentially go even more brutal in my opinion again i know sorry to sound like a broken record player but this is team ninja that we are talking about at the end of the day no matter which perspective you have it's uh always gonna be a plus in my opinion again um the cheesiness pretty much standard thing with jrpgs or at least they were during the 90s they've gotten a little better at that recently but uh it's still kind of there with a lot of these games that uh are coming out of japan and so either way i don't think you could knock it uh unless you can't really stand that kind of cheesiness in that case uh i don't know what else to say other than uh teach their own i suppose uh but if you do like the cheesiness then <laughs> yeah i don't know maybe you're right at home but even if you don't even if you don't there's still some uh room for improvement i guess you could say because uh, a lot of the footage that we saw was uh what did it say? Like pre-developmental stages of the game? Yeah, I don't know what else to say other than um, it looks remarkably bad or... No, no, no. Hang on. Let me, let me rephrase that. It looks bad, but in a good way, in my opinion. Just because, again, growing up with JRPGs, uh, it's kind of expected. But then again, this is Square Enix we're talking about. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. I really do appreciate it if you watch this trailer with me for the first time. And uh, <laughs> I'm kind of speechless right now just because uh, part of my brain is still wondering what the heck I just saw. But uh, either way, like I said before, I'm still looking forward to this one. I'm definitely going to give it a try. And uh, I would love to play the demo, but I don't have a PlayStation 5, unfortunately. So I'm really hoping that they'll eventually be able to release it for other uh, platforms uh, out there and whatnot. But uh, anyways, let me know down in the comment section below what you look forward to the most and what you are expecting out of this game. For me, again, I'm expecting... A Final Fantasy game that plays very similarly to Ninja Gaiden or maybe that's just too obvious but I don't think I've ever played anything like that before so anyways everyone I will finally let you guys go hope you guys have a blessed night and I will see you guys next time cheers again everyone